friends, my name is Karen Williams. I'm the lead instructor for the Colorado Mountain Club's Youth Education Program and today I'm going to talk with you about clouds. So in this video, we're going to discuss why it might be important to understand different types of clouds when we spend time outside on a hike or playing with our friends. We're going to learn the three main types of clouds that you might find in the sky. And then we're going to make a cloud guide that helps us determine which clouds we have um, when we go outside during the day and predict what kind of weather might be coming. And after we've done all of this, we'll be ready to head outside, meet a cloud, and do our own cloud ID and discover what clouds we have in the sky today. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about why we might want to know about clouds when we're heading outside. So when we head outside into the mountains, the weather can change really, really quickly. So even if we start out a hike or a day outside with really nice sunny weather, by noon or the afternoon, the weather might turn kind of nasty. We might get a rainstorm or a thunderstorm, or even here in Colorado, maybe a hailstorm. And the clouds can actually help us determine and predict what kind of weather might be coming so we can be more prepared for things that might happen. So this is why it's really important to understand the basic three types of clouds and use them to make sure we're making smart decisions and staying safe when we're playing outside. All right, so now that we have a little bit of an understanding of why we might want to know about clouds, let's dive into making our cloud journal. So to make your cloud journal, here's what you're going to need. You will need about a handful of cotton balls like this, like three to five should be fine. You will need a glue stick, you will need a pencil, and you'll need a printed out cloud guide worksheet that you can find on the Youth Education's virtual learning website. With all of that, let's get started making our cloud guide. All right, friends, so when we start talking about different kinds of clouds, let's talk about some ways that you might be able to tell cloud types apart from one another. So something that you probably notice when you look up at clouds in the sky is their shape. So some clouds are really puffy and big, other clouds are really thin and kind of long, and there's all sorts of different types in between those two. So the shape of a cloud can be really helpful for describing it and noticing what type of cloud it might be. Another thing that we might look at is the color of the cloud. So, not all clouds are totally pure white. Some clouds are kind of gray, and some clouds are a lot darker than others, and those can be an, a good indicator that a certain type of weather is coming. Another thing that you might notice about clouds is that they have different levels in the sky. So some clouds are really high up in the sky, some are kind of mid-level, and then some clouds are really low, close to the ground. You might even see those clouds touching or covering the mountains. So with those things in mind, let's talk about our three different types of clouds. All right, so our first cloud right here is called a cirrus cloud. It's kind of a funny name, so let's say it again, cirrus. All right, so a cirrus cloud will usually find high up in the sky. And I want you to take a second and think of a couple ways that you might describe this cloud. I want you to tell me what it looks like to you. that you might come up with are wispy, thin, white, like it has little tufts, or it's diffuse and kind of thin, not super thick or really full. So let's take a second and look at our cloud journal and you'll see underneath each of the different clouds that there's a little section that asks you to describe what your cloud looks like. So right there, let's write down some words that describe our cloud. You can pick maybe two or three. They don't have to be the ones that I put on the board. They could just be ones that are good descriptors to you so you can remember what this cloud looks like. about what kind of weather this cloud might be predicting. So if we see this cloud, what kind of weather might be ha we be having 
during the day or what kind of weather might be coming in the next couple of hours. So let me see a cirrus cloud. Again, we'll usually find them high up in the sky. A cirrus cloud will usually tell us that there's gonna be a change in the weather. So if it's really nice and sunny out right now when you see this cloud, it might be changing soon. So if you saw a cirrus cloud while you were out hiking around, might be important to remember to bring your rain jacket or some extra layers because the weather might be changing sometime soon. All right, so we have some descriptors that tell us what our cloud looks like so we can remember that for later and we know what kind of weather our cirrus cloud is predicting. Now it's time to build our cloud on our cloud journal. So for this, you're gonna need probably just one cotton ball because our cirrus cloud is pretty thin and wispy, so it doesn't have a lot of substance to it. So let's take one cotton ball, just like this, and what we're gonna do with this cotton ball is we're gonna pull it and make it nice and thin and wispy, just like our cirrus cloud. So I'll probably just use about half of my cotton ball, and I wanna pull it apart so it's really, really thin and wispy just like our cirrus cloud looks like. And I wanna make sure it's a good size so I can fit it right here in my cloud journal. Once I've got my cirrus cloud the way I want it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cirrus cloud, I'm gonna set it down next to where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna take my glue stick, and this is super important to make sure that your cloud looks good. We'll take our glue stick and we'll just put a little bit of glue right where we want to put our cloud down. I'm gonna fill it up right in that open space where I wanna put my cloud down. And then I'll just slightly set my cirrus cloud right over the glue. You can press it down a little bit, but it'll stick pretty well on its own if you just set it right there. So there we are. I've got my nice thin cirrus cloud. Super important that I don't put my cotton ball on my glue stick because my cotton ball will just stick to my glue stick and it'll make a big mess. So we always wanna put our glue sticks right on our paper and then put the cotton ball on top of our gluey area. All right, so this cloud might look familiar to you. This is the type of cloud that you might look up in the sky and see some funny animals or shapes made out of this cloud because it's super big and puffy and it can make some really, really funny shapes. So this cloud is called a cumulus cloud. Again, kind of a funny name, so it's cumulus. And this cloud is a mid-level cloud. So we won't find it super high in the sky, and it usually won't be too low um, where it feels like we can touch it. It'll be right in the middle. So let's take a second and look at this cloud. I want you to think of a few words that describe what this cloud looks like to you. So some of the words that you might have thought of are fluffy, puffy, cotton ball, lumpy, or that it looks like popcorn. I think this one really looks like popcorn. But whatever words look good to you, I want you to write down two or three underneath the little section that says describe what this cloud looks like. So I want you to think about the last time you saw this cloud, or maybe you're seeing it today, and think about what kind of weather it was that day, or what kind of weather came after you saw that cloud. So usually when you see a cumulus cloud, that means that there's gonna be good weather, also known as fair weather. So usually it's pretty sunny, it's pretty nice out, it's not too windy. Um, so that is a pretty nice cloud to see when you want to spend time outside. But something important to keep in mind is that when this cloud gets overdeveloped, meaning it gets really big and puffy and dark at the bottom like you see in this picture, 
that turns this cloud into a cumulonimbus cloud, which means that a thunder or a rainstorm is coming. So if you see a cumulonimbus cloud, it's super important to get back somewhere safe. You don't want to be out hiking or camping when there's a big rain or thunderstorm going on. All right, so we've learned a lot about our mid-level cumulus cloud. Now is the time to make this cloud for our cloud guide. So we'll take a cotton ball. I'm gonna take the other half, the one that I use for my cirrus cloud, and we'll puff it up just a little bit, but we're not gonna pull it apart as much as we did for our cirrus cloud, because this cloud, remember, is pretty puffy. It's a little bit more thick than our cirrus cloud. So I'm gonna make mine big and puffy, like this, and I might make a couple more. I'll probably take another half of a cotton ball. Again, I don't need too much. Make this one nice and big and fluffy as well. All right, that looks like a pretty good cumulus cloud. All right, so I've got my two cumulus clouds right here. Again, I'm gonna set these down. Then I'm gonna take my glue and mark the area that I want to put my clouds in. And then I'll set my cotton balls right on top. I'm gonna make mine a little bit long at the bottom too. There we go. All right, there's my one cloud and my second cumulus. So I've got my big puffy cumulus clouds nice and safe on my cloud guide. All right, so we've got our upper, upper level cirrus cloud. We've got our mid-level cumulus cloud. The last cloud we're gonna talk about is a low level cloud. Right, so our last cloud right here looks a little bit different from the others. It's called a stratus cloud. And this is the one that you might notice covering over mountains or even really tall trees when it's kind of a dreary day out. So let's take a second, notice our stratus cloud, and think of a few words to describe what this cloud looks like to you. All right, so some words that you might have come up with might be flat, kind of thick, uh, maybe it looks like a farmer's field to you with all the rows of crops. Um, and it can look like a bunch of lines of clouds all together. And sometimes the stratus cloud also looks a little bit more gray than the other clouds. All right, so just like we did with the other two, let's write down a few words in our stratus section of our cloud guide to remind ourselves what this cloud looks like when we're looking at this guide later. Alright, so like I mentioned a minute ago, the stratus cloud is a super low laying cloud. It usually hangs out pretty low in the sky. And I want you to think about when you last saw a stratus cloud, what was the day like? Was it super nice and sunny or maybe a little bit different? So when we see a stratus cloud, usually the day is a little bit dreary, a little bit gray. There might be some precipitation, but we would usually call that a drizzle, meaning it's not raining super hard, it's just raining super lightly, kind of drizzling down. And a stratus cloud, even though it can have kind of a gray day, um, sometimes it burns off later in the day and it can lead to pretty nice weather just with a chilly morning or something like that. All right, so our last cloud, let's build our stratus cloud. Again, grab a cotton ball, and this time, I'm gonna pull just a little bit of it, and I wanna make those kind of lines that we notice in our stratus cloud. So what I'll do is I'll pull a little line, and I might even twist it a little bit to bring it together just a little. I'm gonna end up with kind of a thin line, just like that, kinda looks like our stratus cloud. 
I want to make a couple more of those because like we noticed in our pictures, our stratus clouds usually have a few lines. So let's make a couple of those thick kind of farmer's field lines for our stratus cloud. And you can set them down where you're going to glue them so you can make sure they fit properly. Nice, so I've got three lines for my stratus cloud. I'm just gonna set them below so I can put the glue where I want my cloud to be. And then we can set our clouds down. All right. Nice, thick stratus clouds. Awesome. All right, friends, so now I've got my finished cloud journal, and hopefully you have yours too. So we've got our cirrus, our cumulus, and our stratus clouds, all looking great. So once this cloud guide dries just a little bit, we can fold it up so it's a little bit easier to use, and we can head outside and find our own cloud. So when you head outside, you can use this guide um, to help you figure out what type of cloud you have by remembering with these words and the picture what our three main types of clouds typically look like. And then using our senses, we can try to figure out which clouds we might have in the sky right now. So go out, try to find a cloud, meet a cloud, try to use your cloud ID to determine what kind of cloud it is, and if you want to, you can head back inside, draw that cloud, and then give some reasons why your cloud is the type of cloud that it is. Have fun, and thanks for joining me to make our cloud journals.